Hey sports fans, here we are. Saturday, whatever the hell it is, 24th, 25th, I don't know. Not worried about it. Anyways, so here we are. This is part four, and this will be Dead Deer Run. So, as you can see, we're at the part of the laneway that I showed you earlier. So this is the entrance to Dead Deer Run, right down here. And so, carry on through here. Some of these bushes in here that kind of make it skinnier. I've trimmed them out previous years, but I'm going to get the brush hog in here and just open it up so it's wide enough to walk through without them brushing up against you. It's nice little pines in here. And this is fairly low area, like before. It does kind of get mushy, although. I was here on Friday, but it's kind of dry, so I'm hoping it's dry enough to walk on. As you can see, it does get mushy down here, but I get a wet foot. I'll do it for you. It's all in the name of entertainment. So we go through all this little brush here. This is really mucky and soft in here. I don't know. You can see it with my feet. It's all. It's all mucky, but it's not bad. This gets right flooded out, spring and fall. And there's really not much I can do with it. I thought about bringing some in, but I'd have to put some culverts or something in. And I don't really know if I want to do that. I thought about gravel, but the deer really don't like walking on gravel. And I don't want to uh, don't want to interfere with their habitat too much out here just open it up a bit I had did have the brush hog in here last year and widened the trail a bit it used to be a pain in the butt walking through here every year used to have to take the push mower and clean it out to be able to walk in but it's not bad now There goes a grouse. I disturbed him. I don't know if I can catch him again. So, and then it goes up this little, little bit and then it dries out. It's not bad up here now. Once it's dried out. But you can see, I don't know if you can see through there. There's still like standing water in there. But anyway. We come in here. And there's a nice little trail here, side to side, that they use. They got all mucked out. But this is what the uh, what the guys before called dead deer run, because they used to sit here in the fall when they pushed, and the deer would come this way. And you can see this stuff. I I used the uh, the brush hog last year and cleaned up this this dead stuff, and I got some more dead stuff to clean there. But I left this tree because it was not a bad tree. It'll do. But this is dead deer run, so get out in the center of it. I'll show you. So that's a big a big oak tree there. And you can see they used to have a stand in there. They'd climb up and they'd hunt out here. I could say when they pushed the deer down, they'd come, the deer would come through that trail over from the swamp. And they used to sit in that tree. It's rotted out now, but... And I cleaned up some of that. It's all that prickly bush stuff. I cleaned that out last year. That's the second time I've had to clean it out. It grows back rather fast, so... And then there's some more brush in there I want to clean out. I want to open this up a little bit. And there's some dead stuff in there. 
and then some little bit of dead stuff in here. And then this is the other trail that I want to connect up to the trail I showed you the other day over by the deer field. It comes out. I won't go for a walk over here yet. This comes out into this little clearing. Mm -hmm. Call it a clearing or whatever. Down through here they come out and then there's another little spot up in here. And I don't know which way it'd be better. It's another opened up area. I kind of cleared it out and you can see they used to come down through here. So this is what I want to connect up to over by the deer field. And then we'll come back out here. And you can see and off to the right is where we came in. And then the big oak tree. And then this is, this goes over towards the swamp. And this is where they used to come in. The first year I hunted here, this is where we were. And I opened this up last year because it was not very wide. The deer could get through it, but so I put the tractor in here with the bush hog. Opened her up a bit. Made it easier to get into. So this is, as you can see, this goes right into the little nice forest in here. It's a nice open area. It goes in the swamp. It's not too mucky in here. It was the other day, but it's not bad now. Take in. Like you say, this is where they stuck me the first year when they were, when Kevin was running the dogs from over at Mr. Huck's property. So, it's a nice fairly open area for deer. And they'll come down around the swamps just up ahead here. some cedars in here and some spruce and some poplar and this is where this tree is where I sat because you can just sit on that tree it's nice and the deer had come you can see it down through here it's fairly open when they pushed them down because here's the swamps over here swamp on the western side which is partly also mine so you can see this is a little bit of a, a bedding area for them I think and you can see the swamp out here so in the fall they don't want to go through the swamp they'd rather they'd rather come around through there and then they come down here and through a dead deer run so but it's a nice little area it's treed but it's nice and open and you've got even in the even in the summer with all the leaves you can still see a fair distance in here. It's a nice little spot. I thought about bringing the brush hog in here and cleaning some more of this up and cleaning this out, but it's not bad as it is. A lot of dead stuff in here, but you can see all this old barbed wire. They used to have a fence in here for the people. They had cows. So they had this fenced off. The actual fence line, the actual property line's over, over there. And it actually goes through, I think it's on that little island out there, and it goes down. So through the swamp. But they used to, they fenced it off through here. And they had an old cedar fence in places. So I mean, I could probably, you could pick this up and it, it kind of heads off that way. 
but this was all, it's all cow pasture at one point in time. Yeah, um, talking to the people that have lived here, not, not property, but people who lived around here before, it's the Dodge Brothers that owned it. Not the Dodge Brothers, but Dodge Brothers that owned it. And they had some cattle until they passed away and then it changed hands. So, like I said, this is the trail we came in from. Let me go back out here. It's a nice little area. You see, I've sat out here for hunting season before. I should maybe put a camera out here. But maybe next year. So as we come back through, this is really mucky in here. You can see the stone in there and the scrapes from the brush hog. When I brought this in to clear it out last year, and I kind of made it to right about there with it and opened it up so it's easier to get into it used to be a little bit harder and there's a big dead tree here I'd like to cut down for firewood but I'm not quite sure where to bring it down I did have to cut a couple of the branches fell I could probably do it but there's other easier trees to get for firewood So, we come back out into Dead Deer Run. And I'm going to open some of this stuff up. And there's a couple dead trees that are in here. There's one there. And there's a couple of that way. So, I'll take them down. And then this other trail over here, there's a trail that goes around and connects back onto the path into here. It's kind of like a shortcut. But you can see all the all the sticker bushes here. There's a better look at that, that tree stand they had. It was probably nice in its day. It's high enough, get a good view. But like Kevin was saying, all this stuff here. When he first started hunting here, you could see from here all the way out to the road. So, a lot of it's grown up. So there's these sticker bushes, and I cleaned out a lot of them. And opened this trail up a bit. So, and I could probably link this trail up with the one I want to bring in. Because there are some open areas and I can go through all this dead stuff. This here, the old, I don't know, cedar or spruce bushes. And you could just take the brush hog through and there's lots of open area and clean that up. But this is the little, uh, the shortcut that gets you away through some of the muck. And back out. As we come down here. Go down this way. And I probably should clean this out just a little bit to open it up, make it easier. And this I've never seen before. Just a mountain of deer poop. Like it's just amazing and it goes pretty much all the way around the tree I don't know if this is their <laughs> designated pooping area but it's just a huge amount of deer poop so if you need fertilizer because it is good fertilizer I've heard so and like I said this path just comes back out Under our pathway, so as we come out here, if you go that way, we go around to Dead Deer Run, and this is back out to the laneway. 
So we'll walk back out through here. They're still a little bit mucky, but at least you can walk through it now without getting a soaker. And we're back out onto semi dry land. Although this can get, if it's really wet out, this can get kind of mucky in here. Usually not too bad. So we come through the pines. And here we are back on the laneway. So that's towards the cabin. That's towards the gate. And there's our other swamp. As you can see down in there. Well, there's a little trail through the through the algae that's growing up. Beavers must be swimming around. So anyways, so that's it, sports fans. That's Dead Deer Run. So that'd be part four. And uh, we'll see you here.